Well, good morning, families, and welcome back to day two of our Family Time devotional series. Looking into this wee book called Family Time. And we're on day two now, and we're looking at the subject of being worried. Um, and so in your wee books, you'll find a wee game that you can play as a family. And so I'm going to let you just go and play that game, and then you can come back and we can continue on with today's lesson. Well, hopefully you get a chance to play that wee game as a family because it helps us start thinking about what it feels like to be worried. And the book of Proverbs in the Bible tells us that worry weighs a person down. And so what often feels like weight is being put upon our shoulders when we're worrying about so many different things. But what happens when it gets too much? And so with that in mind, boys and girls, I want you to imagine that this egg is you. Now at the minute, at the minute you've got no worries whatsoever. You're loving life, you're spinning about, enjoying life, but then the worries start to come. And maybe your first worry is about school, maybe it's exams, maybe it's um, presentations. But you start worrying about school, and so that starts weighing you down. And then, if that wasn't enough, then some classroom bullies start making you worried. And you're worried about what might happen the next day. You go to bed worried about whether these bullies will, will say something to you or hurt you in any way. And so that starts worrying you as well. And then you start worrying about your grandparents and oh and before long the worry can just get too much to bear and worry after worry is stacked upon you and it gets too much it gets too much and we crack now do you think that god wants us to feel that way do you think God wants us to have all these worries? Well, let's look at our passage this morning and see what this passage teaches us about worry, about what we should do when we worry. Let's look at it together. It's in the book of Philippians, chapter 4 and verse 6. And so if you have your Bibles, you want to open them up with your parents um, and read this with me. It says this, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And so now, families, what I want you to do is to have that time of discussion. There are going to be a few questions coming up here that you can discuss together as a family. It's not a nice feeling when we worry. When we think about that one thing and just how it could go wrong. You know, we've been thinking about, you know, how worry weighs us down. And if you can remember back to that wee object lesson we did, when the egg just kept getting played upon plate of weight put upon it, and then it cracked. That's just what it feels like when we worry about too many things at once. And so our, our lesson this morning, it teaches us that we should always talk to someone about our worries and that we should pray to God as well. We should pray to him and ask him to help us um, when we worry about these things. And so when we worry, boys and girls, we should look to our parents. We should turn to our parents and tell them what we're worrying about. But also we should pray to God. We should pray to God and give him our worries as well because that will help lighten the load um, on our shoulders and so i hope you've enjoyed our wee lesson this morning about how we should deal with our worry and now we're going to have a time of prayer and you can say the prayer you can pray the prayer um, in our wee booklets or you can pray um, together just as a family but i'll give you a few wee minutes to pray together 
Well, that's us for another morning um, of our Family Time devotional series. We've finished day two, and I hope you can come back for day three, where we're going to be looking at this um, word called obedience. It's a big word, isn't it? We're going to be looking at this word obedience and what does it mean and what we what we can learn from the passage for that day as well. And so I hope you come back tomorrow um, as a family and um, I hope that we can continue on with our family time series. But until then, see you later.